Many people have asked me how one can switch from test automation to the development role. I made this switch myself and in this video I would like to talk it all through. It is a test club and my name is Dada Sasha. On this channel I try to share my honest advice, roadmap and analytics about software development, testing, test automation and related fields. So if you think this is something interesting for you, please consider subscribing. Now back to the topic. There are four steps you need to do to successfully switch from test automation to development role. Step number one. Talk with your manager. You will be surprised, but many organizations are actually helping and wanting test automation engineers to switch to development role. In many companies, there are actually official programs that will help you to study topics that you need to switch roles within the company. And switching roles within the company is the best thing you can do and the lowest risk thing in a current job market. If you're lucky, and chances are, if you work for a big organization, you will be lucky, there will be some support for you in this endeavor. And you can build a roadmap and step-by-step -step plan with your manager. Now, let's assume you are not that lucky. In this case, you need to remember, switching from test automation to development is actually changing jobs. Even though lots of skills that you acquired in test automation will still be relevant, the switch is still the switch and those are different professions. And you need to approach this as a switch to a new profession. You need to take a roadmap. There are quite a few roadmaps on the internet. And for example, you can check the roadmap for the Python web developer that I've created some time ago. The link in the description to this video. And then you just find the topics that you don't yet know. And you approach this roadmap like you would approach learning a new profession from scratch. Obviously, you won't be learning from scratch and you will most likely have lots of relevant skills already. So that's your advantage. You can switch faster than people who don't have those knowledge. Step number three. Show but not tell. Create the portfolio. You need to create a personal GitHub repository, or probably better, repositories, in which you show how you can do things. If you switch into web development, for example, you can create several websites. If you switch into game development, you can create several games. But you need to be able to show that you can actually use your skills. And finally, prepare for the job search and for the interviews. This step, even though it is the final step, may be the most difficult one. Recruiters will always try to sell you test automation role if they see a test automation experience. That's what they do, and quite often they will also offer you a better salary for test automation. That is because you have test automation experience and you don't yet have a development experience. Now it's up to you to decide what matters most to you. Switching to development or getting more money. But if you really want to switch to development, just refrain from those offers. Calmly and friendly explain recruiters that that's not the kind of role you're looking for and they can help you by offering and searching a development role for you instead. When you have started your job search, you will need to prepare your CV. You can find in this video a couple of things that you need to remember while creating a CV. And you can check this video if you want to know how to prepare for the coding interview in the top tech companies. I hope this simple first aid guide will help you to switch to the job of your dream. It was Dada Sasha. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you think you would like to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Have a nice day and see you around.